With that out of the way, let's go to the final email today. And the final email today comes to us from Praxis Pride, who writes, Longtime viewer from London in the UK. Well, thank you so much, Praxis. With the amazing new Fantastic Beasts 2 trailer, it was a very good trailer, dropping yesterday, I got into a debate at work as to whether it's better to read a book before seeing the movie or vice versa. I say watch it first as the uh, they uh, invariably and understandably leave out chunks of the novel. What are your thoughts? All right, and it's interesting practice that you're bringing this up. And as you see in the sidebar here, the, the, the funny thing is, I know the trailer just led you into that debate. You weren't debating about Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, because there is no book, Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald, right? That's not a book that J.K. wrote. It's not a book. Uh, but I could see, but it's based on the Harry Potter worlds, and so it leads to that debate. This is a discussion that actually I have had many, many times over the years with a lot of different people about, okay, there's a movie coming out based on the book. Should you watch the movie first, or should you read the book first? My feeling has always been and continues to be this. Don't read the book first. Now, I only say that in the circumstances that we know a movie is coming. Otherwise, don't avoid reading books just in case they make a movie about it one day. No, no, I'm just saying, if there's a movie coming out that I know is based on a book, my rule for myself is don't read the book first. Hold off on the book and then if I like the movie, then go read the book later. And I think that's what most film fans should do. I think you should hold off on reading the book. Now, Praxis, you kind of hinted at it, but my reasoning is very similar to yours, although a little bit different. Number one, and this is really the heart of it. When you read a book, one of the great things about reading books is your imagination fills in a lot of the pieces. Your imagination creates the world you're reading about. When a line is said, your imagination creates a way that line is being said. When they're describing a scene, your mind and imagination creates the scene as an interpretation of the words you're reading. When all that kind of stuff, and there's big chunks of books that get like, because you know, a novel can be 500 pages and a screenplay is about 110 to 120 pages. So obviously a lot of stuff has got to be cut out. But the big thing to me is you create a template in your head of what that world, whatever that world is that you're reading about, and the characters in it look like, sound like, act like, feel like, smell like, sound like, all that kind of stuff. Your imagination makes that up. And what I have found with a lot of people, because it's happened to me, that when then you go into a movie and you already have in your head what this movie is supposed to look like, sound like, feel like, act like, when you already got all that in your head, about what your interpretation of, of what this movie should look like because of what you read in the book, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment with the movie. You're no longer evaluating or judging the movie on its own merits. You're evaluating and judging the movie on your own personal interpretation of the book that you've already put a picture together of in your head. And I think that's a human tendency, and I think it's unavoidable. I, I think I've done it. I think you've done it and all that kind of stuff. So to me... The only way to truly judge a movie that's based on a novel on its own true merits is just to make sure you don't read the book first. That's the only way to truly do it. It's the only way you can go into a movie with a clean slate in your head and just appreciate it for what it is. And you can come up going, oh, that movie was great. And then you can read the book and get all the extra pieces and get the different nuances and all that kind of stuff and that's fine but now you're not having that contaminate your experience of the movie. Because the only person who can make the movie the way your imagination made a book out to be is you. Everyone else is going to have a slightly different interpretation, a slightly different vision, a slightly different imagination that puts those pieces together. So, yeah, to me... Now, this is a subjective question. Everybody's going to have a different answer. But to me, it's a no-brainer. When you, if you, there's a big book out and there is a movie coming, if you're a movie fan, look, if you're primarily a movie fan, wait until you see the movie. See the movie first, then read the book. If you're primarily a reading fan and you're primarily into books more than movies, well, then go ahead and read the book first. But for me, primarily as a movie fan, always I put off the book. I didn't read the Hunger Game books until after I saw the movies. 
and I'm glad I did it that way. But anyway, that's just kind of the way I do it. How do you guys do it? Do you have a personal rule? Do you do it differently from film to film? How do you approach this whole thing about should you read a, a book first or see the movie first? Jump into the comments section and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, with all that out of the way, let's have some time now to go over and take some live questions. You guys have been sending in a bunch already.